I got one. Hey, what's up guys? Jake here. Today I have my friends Brandon and Tristan. We're at a place called the Exuma Bahamas. We've never been here before. The water's crystal clear and it almost looks photoshopped. But we're joining my buddy Rob and his name is Deer Meat for Dinner on YouTube. We've met him in the past. He's like the nicest guy in the world and he invited us out here to have a great adventure. And I think today, I think we're going to be spearfishing. I'm not too sure, but we're just going to enjoy it. And if you want to see more videos from the Bahamas, drop a thumbs up if to support. We'll come back out here tomorrow to see what else we can find. But with that said, let's go ahead and hop on the boat and get this adventure started. All right guys, so Rob seriously goes all out and we have these beautiful boats to take us out on adventures we're in the middle of the ocean and i'm really excited as soon as hurricane dorian passed through man we started sending aid over as fast as we could they made seven trips with the airplane then they sent two full 40-foot containers full of supplies i mean baby supplies medical supplies drinks everything you could imagine and that's all because of the youtube community you guys just sent in thousands and thousands of pounds of stuff well more importantly than that there are 700 islands in the Bahama chain, and literally there's one sliver between uh, Great Abaco, basically Marsh Harbor, and then into Grand Bahama Island near Freeport. That area got totally wiped out. But there's 700 islands in the Bahama chain, and those people still need us to come and enjoy it. And the tourism dollars are what keep these islands afloat. So I was like, I got on the horn. I'm like, Jake, get the boys, let's go down to Staniel Key. My friend Kevin Doyle, he owns Lazy Bay Cottages and Staniel Air. He basically donated everything just so we could come down here and show you guys how amazing these Bahamas are. When you land, the smiles are radiant. People are happy. We got everybody here. We're getting ready to go have a good time and I'm so stoked y'all are with us. Hi, Brandon. <laughs> All right, so Brandon and Tristan are in that boat over there. I'm in the boat with Rob and I think Rob's gonna lead the way to the spot that we're going to. I've got my girlfriend, Kendall, joining me on this adventure and it's just so cool to bring her along on this as well. But she's just gonna enjoy the day and watch us dive and maybe she'll dive out there as well. We're headed out of the harbor right now. We're headed to the open ocean and I'm excited to get started. But this place is absolutely beautiful and I'm gonna show you guys a few clips on our way out. All right, so we're at our first location. Rob's gonna jump in, check it out, see if there's fish there, but we drove, we're probably like, what, for, for 30, 40 minutes out? Yeah. Nothing? That's not what we're looking for. Little, All right. little fish, nothing to get. All right, we're gonna move to a new spot. Rob says it's not the spot we're looking for. We're looking for bigger fish to take home today, and we're gonna try to be very picky with what we do, but we're gonna eat everything and feed everyone at the area as well, and we're just gonna have a good time, so let's get to that next spot. So we've been hopping spot to spot. Rob hasn't found the spot we're looking for, but it's been what, maybe an hour and a half? And I think we may have found it, man. I'm excited. Did you get one? That's a Bahamian delicacy right there. They call it a Bahamian silver snapper. Really good fish to eat. They love getting these. Very important, as soon as you get one of these fish, throw it on ice. It's gonna keep it nice and cold so that when we get it back, we can fillet it out and have a great dinner. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. Rob jumped in, got the first fish yeah. of the day. I don't know what fish to shoot, but he's gonna try to put me on some good ones and, uh, and we're gonna eat them all tonight, man. That's awesome, that's a good looking fish. Stop spear fishing in the Bahamas. Maybe I'll get lucky, let's do this.
Is this the one you're talking about? Yeah, that's a grouper, man. That's awesome. Good job, Greg. Wow. Thanks, bud. That's sick, bro. <laughs> well, we got dinner tonight. Heck yeah. I got my first one. <laughs> I think it's called a grouper, but uh, yeah, dear me put me on this one, so that was pretty cool. All right guys, so just stabbed the fish in the head with a knife. It's completely dead now, and now it won't suffer if it is feeling pain, so we're gonna put him on ice and we'll eat him later. All right, let's go get another one. Yeah! <laughs> Great eating fish. What kind of fish is this? It's called a yellow jack. Awesome. All right, dear me got a yellow jack, and put it on ice. All right, so so far I've speared one fish. I think Rob got a couple. There's a couple lobsters in the boat as well. But I'll be honest with you guys, I got a little seasick, so I had to stay out for a little bit. I think I stayed out for like 45 minutes. But off in the distance, looks like a storm's coming. But we're gonna try our best to get some more fish before the rain comes. But so much fun. I just needed a minute to calm my stomach down. <laughs> it was bad. I've never been lobster fishing, but on YouTube I've seen the videos before and people grab them. But my first instinct, you know, was not to shoot them because I, I thought maybe that would be unethical, I guess. But here in the Bahamas, I guess to shoot them. And the guy Bernard here who uh, runs the boat. He was just shooting them left and right. I was like, dang, this is awesome. So when I get an opportunity, I might get one myself. Absolutely no, it's totally legal. In Florida and in the United States, you cannot spear them. Here in the Bahamas, perfectly legal to spear them and uh, they manage their resources very well. So, so far we speared a bunch of fish. I personally have gotten only one. Bernard, he's pulled up like six dang lobsters. So I've got what is called a Hawaiian sling. I've never used this before, but I'm gonna get down there and hopefully get my first lobster. bycatch so there's no nets you're not wasting any other fish and for me to go down there and pinpoint this one and take this one that was like my decision and I didn't waste it so I'm excited to eat this one when we get home man this is, this is a trip maker I had a great time today I didn't spear as many things as I wanted to but I got one really nice grouper right is that yeah you got a beautiful and lobster, grouper and I uh, had a great time what did you get I really just spent my day filming you guys it was so, you don't have to spear a lot to have yeah. an amazing day. We're together as a team, we got a bunch of awesome fish. Now we're gonna go back, clean them up, and cook something epic, bro. Let's do it, man. Salt life. All right, so we made it back to the harbor, and this is actually gonna be a really cool process because deer meat here, he's like a professional at this. He's gonna flay all the stuff we killed, and then all the extra stuff we're gonna throw into the water so the sharks can eat it. And I'm gonna just bring you guys underneath the water, you guys can see that happen, but it's gonna be really cool, man. Cool experience, you know, I'm new to all this, but it's just so much fun to see it all happen. You know, you catch it, you clean it, and you cook it. So we're on top of the boat right now. I wanna give you guys a bird's eye view of what this place looks like from above. You got deer meat over there, cleaning uh, the fish at the cleaning station, and he's throwing in scraps over here, and all these nurse sharks are just tearing them up. But it's just so cool to see all this. It's something that you don't normally see. But what I'm gonna do right now is actually grab the underwater camera and get underneath the water and see what it looks like from underneath. You guys, I want to tell you, this guy right here is an absolute stud. Totally out of his element. Spear fishing down here in the Caribbean Sea. You did amazing. Thanks, man. Got a beautiful Nassau grouper. That's like 
That's what the Bahamians love. This is a fish that's a staple of their diet, followed by crawfish. Like we call them Florida lobster, spiny lobster, but down here in the Bahamas, yep. they're referred to as a crawfish. I'm gonna take one of my knives right here, come around. There you go. You got that nice, beautiful lobster tail. Now, we're not done there. Your Nassau grouper is just delicious, man. This is like, one of the best eating fish you will ever have the opportunity to eat. You can eat it grilled, blackened, broiled, fried, whatever, and it's just a delicious piece. I believe in eating good, healthy, clean, organic meat. You know, um, there's a big fad going around the world today about eating clean meat, mm -hmm. clean meat. Well, there's nothing more clean, more organic, and more healthy than healthy, wild game wild fish wild seafood and what you did today you may have not thought about it but what you did today is the number one best way to harvest any kind of fish because there's no bycatch like you can't accidentally catch something you don't want yep. you wanted this grouper you made a perfect shot put them put them in the boat threw them on ice and now we're cleaning them there's no bycatch it's clean it's healthy and it's going to taste good locals are here they're going to take some of these heads they love to make fish chowder <laughs> That's awesome. What about this? You throwing the lobster head in or no? Yeah, you can throw the lobster head in. All right, check this out. Here we go. You want it? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Dear meat, thank you so much for helping me fillet my fish. It was really cool to see the process. I don't know, you know, how to do all that, so uh, he makes it look super easy and simple. But you learn a thing or two every time you watch him. But. He has a lot more fish and more lobsters to fillet. If you want to check out all that stuff, I'm going to have a link in the description below. Check out his video. He's going to fillet all that stuff for you guys. But now I guess the plan is to finish all this up, head back to the resort, and then cook it all up to eat it. So we made it back to the resort, and I haven't showed you guys what it looks like here yet, but we have this whole place to ourselves, and it's seriously something out of a movie, man. I feel so lucky and blessed to be here. The water is just super, super clear and beautiful. Never seen something like this in my entire life. The plan right now is to get inside the house, wash off, and then come back out here and grill all the stuff we caught. Alrighty, alrighty! That right there is a beautiful lobster tail that just a few hours ago was swimming in the Caribbean Sea. Take that knife, go right down through the center, just like that, and just like that. We're gonna repeat that same process on all these tails. That's the little vein, and that is a beautiful half of a lobster tail. All right, you guys, so anytime you're cooking fresh fish, you want to use a very simple seasoning. That's Everglades Fish and Chicken. We'll just season it up real quick like that. Your meat over here is wrapping up dinner. But before we eat this dinner, I do want to give a huge shout out to Kevin Doyle again for inviting us out here and staying at his, uh, his little house is here. I really do appreciate it. Again, if you guys want to check it out, you can stay at the exact same place we're staying at. I'm going to have a link in the description below. Check it out. It has all the information on how you guys can get here. But Kevin, if you're watching the video, thank you guys again so much for allowing me to come out here and enjoy your, your home in paradise and I wouldn't be able to do it without you. So we had to make sure that the grill is ultra, ultra hot. Take your meat. You want to start it face down, meat side down, just like that and then you alternate them. That easy, yeah? If you want to see more videos like this in the future where we go hunting for lobster, you know, the fish, you know, spear fishing, drop a thumbs up on this video if you support. I'll team up with Rob again in the future, maybe go to his house and do this again. I've had the pleasure of hanging out with him in the past, and Rob is seriously the nicest, well-spoken man I've ever had. had the pleasure of meeting in the past, and uh, what you guys see in his videos is truly how he is in person and how he lives his life, and if you haven't checked out his videos, I'm gonna have a link in the description below. Definitely check him out and uh, let me know what you guys think about him. But seriously, he's one of the most genuine guys I've ever met in my yeah. whole life.
amazing. You know, I heard you saying thanks to Kevin. I don't know how he came up with this. Like a year ago, this was just bushes, like bushes. <laughs> And now a year later, he built the most magnificent thing ever. He's got boats, an epic staff, and Kev, if you're out there, I love you, brother. You, you're a huge inspiration to me. Oh, oh, God. No, no, no! Oh, oh! <laughs> Woo! I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to check out everyone's YouTube channels in the description box below. 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 But I'll see you all next time. Thank you so much for watching. All right, let's jump in one more time. Come on, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. You guys okay? <laughs> 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 oh, oh, oh. 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 Oh, oh, oh.